direction we want, you know? I mean, when I started this channel, I was uh, very adamantly trying to get Obama impeached. And I that was, that was like, pretty much the reason why I started my channel. And uh, now, I just do current events because, uh, you know, the brain starts to, you know, learn more when you, when you read about current events in your country. Um, I'm talking about doing real research, too, by the way. I'm not talking about turning on the television because you cannot trust these people. Like I told you year, uh, over a year ago now, you now know it is general. It is the it is a it is a well-known fact now that the, the mainstream media news has been lying to you and uh, making conspiracy theories up to get you to not like our president. It's just bizarre out of control it's really it's corruption on a different level here now and um so we got a quite a few you know things on our hands here every day in our country to battle and uh like i said their ideals the the verse that i read yesterday was very interesting it was you know i read a, a bible verse a day it's sent to me it's like a verse of the day type thing and it says we are not at war with flesh and blood we do not wage war against flesh and blood that's amazing because a lot of us are distracted by one another and the color of our skin and all the other stuff with it. But you have a real enemy. You have a real enemy in this world and he is not your neighbor. He's not the guy sitting next to you, standing next to you, lives next door. We need to learn how to come together and fight the real enemy is what I think. But, you know, it is Friday. It is a beautiful day. It's the 16th of June, 2017. So welcome, if you guys have never been here before, subscribe, help me make some, you know, some hits with these videos, uh, send them to your friends, I don't care, you know what I mean? Uh, I got nothing to hide, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess I can give you an update about what I've been doing lately, if you guys are interested. I have uh, moved from Southern California to Northern California, up in the Northern West Hemisphere, I live in the mountains now, in the middle of nowhere. Um, I like it, next to a lake, it's really nice, you know what I mean? It's uh, peaceful. It doesn't have all the trappings of the inner city and all of the noise and all of the smog and all the rest of it. Uh, I like it up here. It's a, it's a nice change of, of scenery for me. And I'm more of an outdoor person. Even though I was born in the city, I'm really meant to be out here uh, fishing and hunting and, and hiking and, and enjoying the, the wilderness and all the rest. It's, it's really uh, it's amazing to me that I've <laughs> that I'm barely here now. I've only been here a year. I've been able to settle down and uh, get a house and uh, I'm leasing it out, trying to own it myself and you know what I mean? Um, I've had some pretty bad luck with chicks though, but and other than that, there's, you know, everything's cool. Um, so here I am, you guys. Good to see you too. <laughs> All right. This article in front of me is from Omaha.com. It is uh, by Joe Duggan. World Herald Bureau, uh, Nebraska Democratic Party official won't resign after calling reactions to shooting at G GOP baseball practice so funny. Some people think this is hilarious, right? Lincoln, a Nebraska Democratic Party official has refused calls to resign her volunteer position after calling reactions to this week's shooting of a high-ranking Republican member of Congress so funny on social media. Chelsea Gentry Tipton of Omaha said in statement that she will not resign as chairman of a of the party's Black Caucus, saying her post was taken out of context by party officials. Now I know I'm gonna piss people off because this is the the age of my feelings take. Uh, you know what I mean? They are the most important thing above virtue. This is the day we're in, but you can't call a black person saying that they like or think it's funny that a white person gets shot you can't call that racist in our day but it's <laughs> that's exactly what that is though that is a uh, hate for uh that is hate that is hate man i mean this to rejoice over your your enemies when they are being shot you know what i mean uh like i said you have real enemies and i just see a bunch of idiots fighting each other it's bizarre but the nebraska the nebraska party's leadership asked gentry tipton to step down uh wednesday several hours after she wrote in a facebook thread about the shooting at an alexandria virginia uh watching the congressman crying on live tv uh and the trauma they experienced why is this so funny though that's a uh, mental illness because uh nobody should be laughing at a at, at anybody getting shot um, it's a, it's a, you know what I mean? 
when a country decides to go to war and you go to war and you kill people, that's a different story. But like when you are in a time of peace in this country, everyone's like having a good time. It seems like just with their spinners or whatever the hell is the 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 popular thing of the day. You have nothing better to do than be petty and pick fights with people over nothing. And this is this is a good example. You know what I mean? It's mental illness to think that somebody is uh that, that it's entertaining to see someone get shot and have to uh suffer a traumatic incident that is a that is a very dark person man like i said we're not wrestling with f flesh and blood man we are wrestling against dark spiritual powers here when you are in sin you are giving yourself up to the devil to be controlled man and that's how he uses this world he uses us as vessels to get his things done Anybody living in a life of sin is very susceptible to being a host to a parasitical type demon. And you guys will go down that path of all the mentally ill people in our country being controlled and, in, uh, and being oppressed. And they're not free. They don't want the truth in their life. They don't want goodness. They want their, they have righteous indignation. They have, they're self-righteous, you know, that life isn't fair. So they need to be banging drums about it, you know. Instead of working together, playing people off against each other, this is just all a, you know, our country is under attack from the inside, as if it were written by someone like, you know what I mean, like, like our our reality is like something that Virgil wrote like a long time ago. It's like you let the Trojan horse in, but now you're battling it. You know what I mean? It's kind of this is this is the new culture. Is this like this uh this like really narcissistic sociopathic type entity that's this marxist type thing like you're either with the winning team or you are you know what i mean out it's just it's um majority tyranny only the majority isn't really you know they're all a bunch of zombies in in my opinion i think the majority uh the real majority are the american people now we're fed up with the lies. We're fed up with the with the news telling us lies now. And uh, it's getting to the point where we're getting really angry. And uh, with all the violence coming from the left, it's coming. It's it's getting to the point where we're not, where we don't care anymore, man. We just, we need to solve our problems so we can have real progress. Unlike the, what the progressives want. They want, they want rioting and violence, dude. But we wanted to go the other way. But if we have to go down that way, I think it's hilarious to put a good old boy next to a, Antif antifa thug punk you know what i mean and and really though i mean like the betting the the odds in vegas for that fight would not be worth putting your money on because the, the good old boy is definitely going to stomp this kid out you know it's it's picking a fight with a it's like a little kid bullying a bigger kid or something it's just why are you picking a fight with someone you can't compete with anyway later in the same threads she stated the very People that push pro NRA legislation in efforts to pad their pockets with complete disregard for human life. Yeah, having a hard time feeling bad for them. You see, your perspective on owning guns isn't like, you know what I mean, right. If you think that, you know, because you want people to have guns that you deserve to get shot. That's not what the, that's not what guns are for, man. Guns are for overthrowing corrupt government. Very unique to our country and no other countries are allowed to, you know, they, this is a very very unique law in our country but the left wants to take it away from you because they want to dominate you they don't want you to be able to defend yourself and know anything for yourself progressive liberals have always tried to tried to aim at that agenda where they're the they're the professionals they're the academics they're the intellectuals you don't think for yourself you go to them uh house majority whip steve chalice or scalice Republican of Louisiana was shot in the early morning incident at a Washington, D.C. area baseball field. Four others were shot or injured. The gunman was shot and later died. Ha ha. See, I don't have a hard time feeling bad or laughing at someone like that. You know, you you chose that. You know what I mean? It's cowardly to open fire on people who are unsuspecting, man. That's that's terrorism. And that's what the that's what Islam's doing. So you're siding with the enemy, in my opinion. Messages left Thursday with Gentry Tipton seeking an interview were not immediately returned. Jane Klebe, chairman of the Nebraska Democrats, said the news media's interest in what amounts to an internal party dispute was troubling and distracted from the more important issue of gun violence. 
Nonetheless, she confirmed that she and the party's central committee were deeply disappointed in the comments. Anyone who commits violence against anyone is wrong, Klebe said Thursday. Anyone who makes insensitive comments about gun violence is wrong. For me, that's the end of the story. In a separate Facebook post, Gentry Tipton <laughs> refused at this point to resign. She also was critical of the way Klebe handled the matter, indicating that the request to step down came without Klebe first t talking to her, uh, to her. You know, when you incite this kind of stuff or you, you cheerlead for it, you're just honestly picking a fight. And if you don't want to pick a fight, then don't cry like a little baby when people backlash you for this and open you a, a new, you know what I mean? Because you brought it on yourself. You, da you dug your own grave just like Kathy Griffin did, man. You did something stupid and now you're going to realize that not everybody's stupid like you and is going to say shit like that. Excuse my language, but it's just out of control. That is like somebody standing up in the, in, in the middle of of everyone you know in a, in a market or something just saying you know like it's it's inciting violence dude it's just it's promoting it it's saying it's okay you know what i mean and you're trying to create a new precedent in our country that it's okay to do this kind of stuff you're encouraging it something needs to be dealt you need to be dealt with if you're going to talk like that and be representing a a state you know as a some kind of representative it's ridiculous to be talking like that gentry tipton went on to say that as a past victim of gun violence she understands that the washington shooting was deeply troubled i don't condone or find the humor in what happened she said but she followed that statement with four paragraphs addressed to Cleve that described how gun violence police violence income ine inequality and workplace bigotry affect affect the black community in a way that you clearly don't understand it affects all of us lady Nobody is special here. Everybody is in the same boat. Um, we all have that same problem. We all have problems with the police. We all have problems with guns. We all have problems with income inequality, whatever the hell that is. Uh, thank um, progressive liberals for that, in my opinion. And workplace bigotry. Um, I don't know, man. Deal with it. Learn how to deal with it. I've... I've learned that in my life that, you know, you got to learn how to deal with these things. You can't just be picking fights with people and making them go, boom, boom, you know, you better stop that. You know, that doesn't work in real life. You know, that makes you look like a joke. I believe that there are people in the party that benefit from taking my post out of context, Gentry Tipton wrote. I don't believe that you or anyone else is the arbiter of my words, voice, or compassion for the black community. Well, this is postmodernism, you see. She wants to be able to interpret her own words however she wants. You know what I mean? Words don't have fixed meanings. Uh, she just wants to tell you that, you know, you took it the wrong way. It's like saying, I love Satan. But but if, like, someone was like, well, I thought you were a Christian. I'd be like, whoa, why are you taking my words out of context? What? That's in, that's incomprehensible nonsense. You know what I mean? This lady is, is trying to use just ridiculous nonsense to try to get away with what she did kenny zoiler uh executive director of the nebraska republican party said thursday that there is nothing funny about the trauma experienced by those who witnessed the shooting or feared for their safety that sort of acceptance of violence is furthering the divide in an already hyper polarized political environment vince powers former chairman of the nebraska democratic party condemned gentry tipton's original social media post saying he found the comments to be outrageous but he otherwise declined to comment on the party's response to them gentry tipton's status as the leader of the black caucus rests with her or the, or the caucus members who elected her the party's leadership cannot force her out Klebe said Klebe decried the focus on the internal party matter when the nation is confronted with kids who can't go to school and people who can't play baseball or go to work and be safe elected officials must address the many issues that factor into gun violence without demonizing each other she said to that end Klebe said she was invited her she has invited her counterpart with the nebraska republican party to organize a joint day of community service dan welsh gop chairman said thursday that he is uh open to such an effort we need to start humanizing each other again Klebe said amen but with that said we're at war you guys